Hey guys, no Harris here. Uh, just a quick clip doing a headlight install for the sound. Pretty much all you're going to want to do is make sure your kill switch is flipped. Unscrew these two screws using a 5mm Allen key. And then you want to take your assembly out like so. Then you're going to want to find your Y's for the headlight itself. Um, pretty simple and straightforward. All it is is a plug and play. So right here I'm going to reach in through all the chaos and find my plugs for my headlight. As you can see here I've already unplugged my brake sensors and right now what I'm looking for is that headlight plug. I haven't had a headlight on the bike for um, a couple weeks now. Right here you can see I'm rarely getting in there amongst the muck to get out that exposed plug so I'm messing with the brake sensors and now let's have a look at that headlight so as you can see cool little pod design nice cheap little headlight I really like the design of the headlight because it's so small and um, different to the stock one all you're going to want to do is plug those two together male to female just in like so and now it's time to um, see if it works. I reach in, flip that kill switch. So now the bike's running power. Look for my keys real quick. All right, now it's time to see if it works. All right, cool. So the light works. It's incredibly bright, a lot more brighter than the stock one. I'm not 100% sure if it has a, um, a cutoff so you're not blinding other drivers on the road, um, but for outdoor riding just at night I feel like it's gonna do the job post a video in the future once I go do some night riding at the moment it's really pouring down with rain so now all I'm gonna do is pretty much um, put this assembly back together and um, tear apart my old headlight assembly which was the Racetech V3 headlight whatever it's called um, yeah, I'm going to strip that down and pretty much force this headlight to fit in. Um, I'm a big fan of squadron lights. Can't afford the squadron lights, they're a bit pricey. Yeah, so I guess this is a budget way to kind of make things work. So just grab your 5mm Allen key, tighten those screws down. Um, just put them in the top around the ignition. And let's see how the light looks on the bike looking a lot more better you can definitely see that it's uh, a budget build but yeah I reckon it looks good uh, also I've got this thing I'm working on in the background which I'm definitely going to show off a lot more of once it's safe to ride now what I'm going to do is pretty much see how bright the light is do that with the kitchen light on and then do it again with the kitchen light off. Kitchen light off. You're right. That's a quick little clip on my headlight installation. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.